Hey, what's up? This is Atlas Knight. And uh, today we're going to be exploring this abandoned building up here. I think it's called Lindsey Boggs Medical Center. I'm over here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, luckily for me, I came out here during the morning time. Man, well, I want to check out a few parts of the building up here, but I'm not going to be around the whole building. And plus, it's safer to be out here during the daytime anyway. This ain't part of the abandoned building. This is a retirement home up over here. Uh, this right here, this is not abandoned. This is um, a retirement home up over there. This is the abandoned part right up over here. Uh, sorry if I'm moving the camera too fast and stuff. I just don't want no one to see me, see what I'm doing, and get the wrong idea. But yeah, this place, uh, it don't look that creepy at nighttime. It looks like a, a few of the windows have gotten knocked out to two. Oh yeah, and today is March 20th, 2022. I repeat, today is March 20th, 2022. Oh, now I wonder, I was wondering how come they couldn't break down these um windows out here. They're welded on the outside. Here's the exit, right? I mean, there's a way to get up here. Hey, it's a backpack right there. Uh, I'm not gonna open it though. I'm only going to explore a little bit of this place. Get my flashlight with me. And uh, don't worry, we're good. Got the safety too, fully loaded. Got the extra clip on me. Just in case if anyone wants to try to act psycho. Now I have told people um, where I'm at. I'm, I'm not gonna search the whole place. This reminds me of something off of, yeah, it reminds me of something off a of zombie apocalypse movie. Pretty big echoes. Huh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let me turn on my flashlight. I forget. I got a light on my phone, too. Help me out more. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, that scared me. That was just a fan. <laughs> uh, it was a garbage bag. Okay, uh, let me do something real quick. Turn this off. Oh, shit. Is that the fucking... Oh, shit. I think I see the fucking police. Let me get up out of here. Here come the damn police. Time to get the fuck out. Yeah, the police are coming. Got to get out. Damn it, someone fucking snitched on me. Ooh. Huh, that's what the outside looks like. Anyway, gotta get the fuck out of here because I saw a police officer and I don't want him to follow me. I'm not about to pay another damn ticket because I'm broke as hell right now. I don't even have no fucking money. That's the only reason why I'm making this YouTube video mainly. I'm risking my lives for y'all to make continent. I mean, I enjoy doing this, but not at the expense of my life. And I'm not going down there. Fuck that. It's down in the basement. I gotta go ahead and take the back way. And get, gotta go ahead and take the back way and get up out of here, because I saw a security guard and a police officer. If they catch me in here, I ain't gonna be able to pay the ticket because I'm broke as a joke. Oh shit. Okay. Now, I have to hurry up and get out of here. I'm sorry the video was so short, but ugh. damn, look at that. It's a big ass rat. Anyway, I gotta get the hell out of here. Huh? That was easier than expected. <laughs> now they can't. Now they can't say I was in there, Mike. You didn't see me. Man, honestly, um, oh yeah, I'm outside of the hospital too, by the way. Huh, I think I heard something down over there.
Anyway, um, I'm just going to walk around. Yeah, I sure as hell wasn't going to go up in here at nighttime by myself. Not a, not a chance. This place is big and empty on the inside anyway, but um, this hospital ain't as big as I thought it was. Like, in all honesty, it really isn't. Because um, the hospitals where I live at, they're actually a whole lot bigger. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and um, explore some more abandoned buildings. I don't know which one. Now, um, I don't know if y'all saw the, uh, the I saw a, no, I saw a, either a police officer or a security guard outside uh, in a vehicle. He was driving right down here where I was at from what it looked like, but I wasn't taking any chances for him to see me. Uh, that's St. Margaret's Hospital, or no, it's a retirement home. But, um, yeah, anyway, that's not abandoned. Man, the one thing about New Orleans, too, like, this city smells weird. It has a weird-ass smell, like, it smells like a mix in between, like, it smells like a mix in between like it feel like someone put New Orleans in a dumpster and then like a whole bunch of different animals just pissed all inside the dumpster that's kind of what the city smells like right now I mean no offense to the city but that's what it smells like it smells like a big dumpster and a whole bunch of people and all different species just pissed into a dumpster <laughs> and now it has this weird funky smell There's a restaurant. I don't know if that's in business or not. There was another neighborhood down up over there. Uh, I was gonna go up in over here to take a shortcut, but um, yeah, it's blocked off so can't go in there Man, there's some more other, there's some other abandoned buildings I want to explore. I want to explore the Six Flags theme park, but from what some uh, customers told me from Lyft and Uber, uh, they got a whole bunch of security guards and stuff up over there right now, so I don't know if that's true or not. I can check it out and go take a look. If there's not no one over there, I can make some more YouTube content for my YouTube channel. Huh. They got security cameras up here. We don't have that down where we live at. They don't have no security cameras at our apartments. Well, apart, I used to live in an apartment. I want a house now. But, yeah. Like, everything's like so damn close to each other. Like, I had no idea everything was like so close. They even got garages and stuff up over here. Um, hey, how you doing? 
But man, like, even the abandoned buildings, like, they're right next to the buildings that are still currently active. That's the crazy part. You'd think they would have been torn down the buildings by now, but they haven't. And I don't know what the hell that is up there. It kind of looks like some kind of drone, but I know it's not, but it kind of resembles it. <sighs> Man. Man, I don't know. I guess that officer wasn't down here after me. I could have just been paranoid, but then again, though, better safe than sorry. Uh, I'm going to walk around some more. I'm going to go down over here. I mean, damn, in my opinion, that's not really a big deal. I don't know why they just don't have you like sign a waiver or something saying if you get hurt or something then you can't sue them i mean it's simple as that they got apartments up here in new orleans too i mean um i don't know i ain't never seen these kind of apartments except for like in new york but they're not as big as the ones in new york I wouldn't mind living in New Orleans myself, but the only bad part is every time there's a hurricane or a tornado, those levees might end up breaking, and then you'll be stuck here and stranded, like with Hurricane Katrina. So I don't want to take my chances. I don't mind visiting down here, but I wouldn't want to live down here because the levees break. Happen once, it could definitely happen again. Oh yeah, they got cameras up on the streets too, like well, on the light pole where it says emergency. They got like security cameras right up here. And then they have a walkway. I guess it used to be a driveway, but I see people walking their dogs and stuff now. I'm pretty sure this place right here is abandoned too. But, um. Okay. Oh. Man, at first I thought that was a security guard or something. But, um, yeah. Like, I think this is abandoned up over here too. But of course, I'm not going to go up in there. <laughs> it's like way too risky. And plus, I don't know if there's no, I don't know if there's some psycho killer up in there or some kind of drug addict, maybe a homeless person who don't want you in his, um, in his, uh, I don't know, whatever they call it. You probably can't get up in there, but I wouldn't want to be in some place that dark and secluded. Not me. Man, I didn't even know they even had a damn basement down there, but like, man, I'm like, dude, there's no way in hell I'm going to go down in that basement by myself. Like, hell no. Man. Well, my recording time limit's almost up. I'm recording in 1440. 
PhD. Uh, there goes a cat. More houses. I'm just walking around. Uh, I'm gonna have to stop recording within like two minutes, and um, I'll see if I can go back over here to this. Um, you know what? To see if I can get some more footage. Man, I'm not gonna lie though, it is kind of hard to sneak inside that abandoned building because since you got these tall buildings up here, you would definitely have to go at nighttime, but it's really a bad idea to explore an abandoned building at nighttime unless you're at least with a minimum of four people, then I then um you could go, but one y'all should but two people should at least keep a one gun on them each. Just in case if you run into a gang or something but yeah well I'm talking about for protection I'm not talking about just for randomly hurting people because like I mean if someone tries to hurt you or something you do have the right to defend yourself and me I don't I don't give a damn I'd rather keep my gun on me while filming inside an abandoned building because, like, if there's a criminal or a psycho killer up in there or something or a drug dealer, they're not going to let you sit up there and call 911 or nothing. They're just going to shoot and kill your ass. So that gun's your best friend. They're not going to, the bad guy ain't going to uh, wait up there and sit up there and let you call the police on them. But anyway, though, uh, this is Atlas Night. Y'all have a good day. Hey, this is Atlas Knight. Um, we're gonna try to do part two of exploring this abandoned building. Okay, this is Atlas Knight and this is part two. As you see, we're right next to a city over here. I mean, right next to houses. Now, yeah, I don't know if that police officer is still hanging up around here, but I got to be careful because I think he's looking out for me. Uh, I couldn't take no pictures in here even if I wanted to. Yeah, it's too dark. Well, I could take a picture of my cell phone on. It's probably going to be small as fuck, though. No worry, we're good. I don't want to make this video too long because I don't want to, um, I want it to get boring. This is only the first floor of the abandoned building, New Orleans. This place looks like it used to be a parking garage. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna go over here where there's more sunlight at. Let me make sure that police officer is not still around here.
I don't know if you could go down out there. already have holes through the roof this looks like it well like i said yeah it's probably a parking garage that's probably what it is you gotta look out for those police officers I don't want to get arrested because like I said, I'm broke and I don't have no money. That's the reason why I'm trying to make this YouTube video for. <laughs> Let's go over here. I'm going to have to turn off the light. Wait a minute, I don't want no one to see me. Hmm. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, here comes the. No, no, no. Oh, hold on. That cop is still over there. No, no. Don't go over there. He's still over there. I mean, dude, like, how the fuck does this cop know where I'm at? He can't, like, I came over this side and all of a sudden, boom, he's over here. Well, look at that shit. Man, look at that water still flooded. Let me make sure I don't drop my cell phone. Wait a minute, hold on. Uh, is that police officer still over here? Yeah, yeah, like tell me, yeah, tell me what side he's coming around. Don't follow him or anything, because like police officers can get you for like um, interfering with duties of the police officer, so just don't get too close to him. Just act like you're lost. Because he knows I'm in here. He's just trying to look for me, and he's guessing pretty damn good. Man, look at all that flooded water down there. God damn. And it's still leaking. Yeah. God damn, that shit stinks. Okay, thanks. Dude, I feel like I'm in The Last of Us or something. Like, seriously. Having to, have to sneak around. Wait, is that... Wait, I think I... No, I think I see a... No, is that another police officer? Oh, no, no, no never mind. That's uh, the electric company.
Man, damn. Actually, let me not turn. If you look over here, you still see a light. I mean, a uh, person over there. And then you have um, other cars up over here. Man, so far I have not found nothing scary. And for um, any anybody asking me, no, there's no there's no ghost here, and there's no fucking no fucking demons. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't see that security guard. Oh shit, hang on, let me bend down. Man, god damn, bro. Hey man, how many, like, yeah, I'm inside, like, like, how many, I'm still inside, like, how many police officers are outside? Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, I've seen this part right here before down on YouTube. This is the um, bottom basement, but um, I'm not gonna go down there. <laughs> I'm gonna stay up here. Yeah, I'm on the, uh, I'm near the bottom basement right now, but I'm gonna go back up. Yeah, ten four. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, okay. Huh, here's the outside, but I'm not gonna go out here because um, this place is still occupied next door. And then you got a fucking police officer fucking following me on the outside of his damn patrol car. I don't think he knows I'm in here. I'm not really sure, but he sure as hell seems to be pretty damn accurate about where I'm at. Man. If y'all are wondering why I'm not going down to the second store, I mean to the basement floor, um, check out some of the other YouTubers channel about this Lindsay Boggs Hotel Medical Center. You have homeless people simply sleeping down there and um, I don't want to disturb them and I don't want them thinking I'm trying to hurt them or nothing. I'm just trying to make a YouTube video. So I don't want them thinking I'm trying to do something to them or nothing like that. So I'm gonna stay out of their way and leave them alone. Okay, um, now I couldn't jump down there. I could man, if I jump down there, I'll probably break my fucking leg. I won't die, but I'll probably break my damn leg.
Man, this is crazy. I'm on the second story floor. Okay, hey, um, Dylan. Yeah, Dylan, can you hear me? Yeah, is that police officer still, like, um, outside and stuff? Is he still outside? Has he uh, called any more police friends or anything like that? Because I need to know if I can go ahead and get out of here. Like, seriously. I mean, I don't mind exploring and stuff. I'm already done with my YouTube video, but I don't want to get caught by a police officer and get thrown in jail. Yeah. Yeah. And what, is he calling for backup or anything? Like, do you hear him like, are you listening to your police scanner to see what the police officer's saying? What is he saying on the radio? Okay, so he's still out here. Well, what, is he going to, what, is he, no, 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 wait, wait. Is he going to be, is he going to bring police officers in here to come after me? Okay, tell me if he does. Tell me, please. Man, damn, like, since when the police get so damn serious about someone exploring a damn abandoned building? Like, seriously, I'm not hurting no one. I'm minding my own damn business. I'm not about to pay for another damn ticket. Hell, I already got to pay for, I already pay another ticket to these, um, well, actually, no, no, I can't say that about the police because then they'll YouTube will dismonetize my YouTube channel. Well, not dismonetize it, they'll take it down. <laughs> Sorry, guys, if I'm uh, talking too much and stuff uh, while I'm making a YouTube video. I'm also trying to avoid a police officer who's hanging around up around this building after me. So I got to watch out for him. Like, I thought he left the first time, but then he came right back out here and the police officers start following me again. There goes some more stairs, but like I said, I'm not going to go down there. Let's see what's up over here. Dude, this place wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Like, it seriously wasn't. Huh. Here goes some. Someone's been sleeping up out over here. I'm not going to mess with their clothes or nothing. But, um, yeah, we got to go ahead and get out of here. Are you sure? No, drive around the building one more time to make sure that that police officer is not following me. Because, like, the ticket is high as hell, and I'm broke, and I cannot pay for that ticket. I can't pay for it. I don't have no money. Oh shit. Hey look, there goes a falcon or an eagle. Here's the outside of the uh, uh, medical center too. This is the outside. But of course, um, I'm not gonna jump down there. I'm sure so I'm not gonna walk down there. I'm like, like I said, I've already seen the rest of the video so I really don't wanna go down there. Okay, I think I might make go ahead and make a part three to this video, but I just got to be careful not to rush or anything.
Yeah, okay. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Uh, what? Well, I can't, no, I'm not gonna climb up there. Let me turn on my light. Oh, yeah, I don't know what's down there, so I'm not going down there. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I'm going to close this door so no one can't sneak up behind me. <sighs> there we go. I know you're probably thinking that's stupid, but just in case if there's some crazy person in here who wants to try to harm me or something, at least I'll know that he can't come through the back behind me. Like I said, though, I have no interest in hurting nobody, but in self-defense, if someone does try to hurt me, I will not hesitate to shoot them. <sighs> but honestly, though, I didn't know there were so many um, homeless people in New Orleans. I mean, hell, man, if I was rich, I would try to help out everybody in New Orleans, but I'll become homeless myself if I do. So I can't do that. I wish I could. And man, the one thing that pisses me off, man, whenever I give money to homeless people, the one thing that really annoys me is you have other people who pretend to be homeless and then they're not really homeless. They're just too lazy to work. And I could have gave that money to like a real actual homeless person who needed the money. Hang on, let me see something here. Hmm, I see some spray paint can. Someone's just spray paint. I don't care about that. I'm going to leave that alone. It's not mine. Uh, not interested in touching it. Now, I am going to explore that abandoned prison tonight, too. I mean, well, not tonight, but as soon as I leave up out of here, I'm going to explore that abandoned prison. But man, this place is so empty. Oh, yeah, I might need to make a part two. If this video stops recording, go to um, Atlas Night video part two on my YouTube channel, Atlas Night. That's A T L A S. N I G H T. Let's see what's up over here. Okay, I'm about to go ahead and end the video. I'll make a part three. Hey, what's up? This is Atlas Knight, and this is the uh, video part three. I repeat, this is the uh, my um, this is the third video to the abandoned Lindsay Box New Orleans Hospital in New Orleans, Mississippi. Man, damn, that's a lot of trash. That's one thing you never do when you're in abandoned buildings. Don't never rush.
Yeah, let me stop talking so loud too because I don't want to give my position away to the police. Okay, there's nothing. Well, as you know, there are some doors behind this, but it's barricaded. I saw it on another YouTuber's um, YouTube video, but I'm not, obviously I'm not going to bother trying to rip that open. Let's look up here. Fuck you, Susanna. Huh, who's Susanna? Must be a someone's girlfriend. There's a hole through the ground. Okay, let me see what's up in here. Huh, someone's, huh, I think that's someone's treasure, or stuff, I mean. I'm not gonna go in there. Let's see. The inside of this place is a mess. It looks like a zombie apocalypse. Let's see. Fuck Dustin's dick, but definitely. Huh. Anyway, though, I have enough common sense. I'm not going to go inside no dark, abandoned building by myself where there's no sunlight. Hang on, let me look over here. Hmm. Wait, hold on. somebody oh wait no I can go in here I could go through here is the exit let me get up in through here real quick Okay, now this is pretty much the same area. I was going to go to the top floor, but um, yeah, it's kind of barricaded up there, so I can't get through all the trash and metal.
Oh yeah, never mind. I thought that was that secure. No, I thought that was a police officer again. Yeah, that scared the shit out of me. I thought that I thought that was that damn police officer. Let's see. Wait, what was that right there? Oh wait, no. Never mind on that. That's just a little window. Let me go ahead and put my gun back in. I don't want I want no one to think I'm trying to shoot them. Only way I'm gonna shoot someone is only if they're trying to attack me. Other than that, though, they're fine. I'll leave them alone as long as they leave me alone. Now I just gotta wait. I probably can't sneak. In. Oh shit! Wait. This is that guy I saw. Nails. I'm looking behind me too while I'm also at my camera in the front. Just gotta be careful. Huh, I don't know how someone broke through there, but no, never mind. Okay. Oh wait, hold on, let me check this floorboard. It might be unstable. I'll hold on to this just in case. It looks like just like a door. Man, this looks like someplace out of the fucking Walking Dead.
I'm not gonna lie, man. When I looked at the YouTube video or other YouTubers come up in through here, I mean, this place looked like it was sealed off shut. Like you couldn't even get up in here if you wanted to, for, if your life depended on it. But now it's um, easy access. It's pretty bright in here. In my opinion, the best time to come up in here is during the morning time when there's no one hardly here. If you run into homeless people, just leave them alone. If they don't mess with you, don't mess with them. Don't tease them. Don't bother them. Just leave them alone. If they leave you alone, leave them alone. Right now, I'm just checking every room to make sure no one just try to sneak up on me. Oh yeah, let me take some pictures while I'm at it. I gotta make sure. This place looks corroded to hell at the top too. Like, I'm all the way to the top of the building. I mean, dude, like, they tore up everything out here. They, they fucked this whole place up. Make sure there are not no booby traps or booby wires. Uh, so far, I have not encountered like one homeless person, but I know there's at least probably uh, maybe four homeless people here, but they're probably down at the bottom of the basement. That's probably where they're at. I mean, I'm not 100% guaranteeing that, but that's what I'm kind of assuming. Uh, there's a ladder, but I'm not going to climb all the way up there. I thought I was at the very top, but I was wrong. Uh, yeah, I thought I was. Hmm. Well, so far, it's nothing special. It's like it's all the same rooms and everything. And that's about it. But, um, yeah, anyway, though, like, um, I'm going to go ahead and go back outside. Because, like, I don't know, like, at any minute, this whole ceiling could collapse. And I'm not trying to get squashed to death by the ceiling. I'm also watching my back, making sure no one's like trying to attack me from behind or anything. Oh, look, look, look. They got a little pentagram circle here. Shit. Oh, oh yeah, that's another thing you got to look out for. Um, if there are no, if they're not no robbers or serial killers here or psycho killers, you got to watch out for the satanic cults that might try to sacrifice and kill you. So you definitely want to bring a gun with you like me. And since I got this gun on rapid fire, it's custom made, I can shoot quick within like less than a second if I need to. But I don't want I don't want to shoot no one unless I have to in self-defense. Let's just get that right, okay? Get that right. I only shoot people in self-defense, only if they try to attack me. I don't go around just wanting to shoot people for the fun of it. I do it to protect myself and stay alive for survival.
Ugh. Well, anyway, I'm definitely gonna have to take a bath when I come back home. And this is up in New this is up in uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. This is Lindsey Boggs Hotel. I mean, no, Lens. I'm sorry. This is New Orleans, New Orleans, Louisiana. It's uh, Lindsey Boggs Hospital. It got flooded during Hurricane Katrina. And I think uh, 187 people died here. But anyway, let me go ahead and get up out of here because I don't feel too safe being up in all this rubble if you look up here. Let me take one more picture before I leave out. Okay. Oh yes, yeah, shit, I forget. Let me put that. Oh, I keep forgetting there's a hospital up over here. Let me put my gun down because I don't want these people to think I'm trying to shoot them or something. Yeah, that's the last thing I need to do is have a regular civilian think I'm trying to fucking shoot them. And then I end up going to prison. I might not, dude. I'm just trying to defend myself in case some crazy person tries to hurt me. Okay, I got. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. I think I got enough footage. Well, actually, I'm going to do what my dad says. Haste makes waste. So I'm not going to rush too fast unless I see a cop. If that cop's still hanging up around here. Let me take a picture of my gun. Post it on Facebook. Okay, I'm gonna have to go ahead and hide my gun because if a regular person sees me, they're probably gonna think I'm trying to shoot them, which I'm not. You gotta be careful. Oh God, please don't let there be no police officers out here. Okay, I only see one guy outside, so let me hurry up and get up out of here. Oh, sweet. See? It's the hole. Uh, okay. Get it. <laughs> I wonder what that guy thought I was doing. Man, I bet this guy probably thought <laughs> thought I was a homeless person. But anyway, though, I gotta go ahead and um, get back to my car. This is Atlas Nights. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Atlas Nights. And um, I will see y'all later. And y'all have a good day. Stay safe and peace. Well, actually, let, let me go ahead and still record me going back to my car so everybody knows I'm safe. I'm not going back up in, I'm not going back up in there. But uh, that was okay, that wasn't bad. 
But man, I was sick of posting up video games on my YouTube channel because I know that was getting kind of boring. I've seen what other YouTubers and stuff do, so um, I just wanted to post something new because I know y'all like seeing me explore abandoned buildings. So I went to New Orleans and I posted it up on my YouTube channel. I mean, I haven't posted it yet, but I will post it when I get back home. I think this is going to be like an hour and 20 minute movie for my channel. But man, feel like being up in here, it makes me kind of feel like Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead or something. That's what it kind of feels like. Huh, there, there goes some more broken window frames right up there. Now, like I was saying before, uh, this place right up here, this place is not abandoned. Only this place right up over here is abandoned. But it's kind of weird, though. You think you think they would tear down the abandoned building since it's right next to an active building, but they don't. I'm kind of surprised about that. They say this is a parking lot over here, but I don't never see no one park over here since I've been up over here. Man, I want to see what this um, other abandoned place looks like. Oh yeah, I think this place over here, um, it's a, like I said before, um, it's an old folks retirement home. This up here is just a hotel slash gym. I'm not sure, maybe it's an apartment slash gym. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and um, end the video because I don't want people to see what I don't want people to see what my other vehicles look like because I got more than one vehicle. I got like ten. No, I mean I got nine vehicles, but I want to show every last one I'm driving in because I don't want no crazy person trying to find me and kill me. But anyway, though, this is Atlas Nights. If you like my YouTube channel, I mean, if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Atlas Nights. And I will see y'all later, and have a good day, and peace.